story. It's the one that everybody's been talking about this weekend. Days after showing up in Birdsdale Park in Gresham, that Gresham Gator has been caught. Coin Local 6 reporter Casey Montoya is live in Gresham tonight where that Gator has been on the loose for a while. Well, can a man named Richard Ritchie known as the Reptile Man? He caught the gator from this pond behind me today in about 30 minutes. We met up with him this afternoon at our coin studios where he gave me an up close and personal look at the gator. But the big question still, how did he catch him? This is the Gresham Gator. Although he looked a lot bigger than this on TV, he's actually only about four and a half feet long. A lot of people who have illegal animals, you know, they don't know what to do with them, so they just release them. That's how Richard Ritchie thinks this gator ended up in this Gresham pond. Ritchie calls himself the reptile man. He heard about the alligator lurking in the pond, so he decided to see if he could catch it. Saturday night, I couldn't go to sleep. I just. I needed to go catch this thing. I don't know why. I already have six alligators. I don't need another one. The animal was first spotted in the pond last Thursday. Animal control officers tried to lure the gator with bait for several days, but that wasn't working. I knew they couldn't trap it because in the wintertime they don't eat, so the bait's not going to help. Around 9 Sunday morning, Richie spotted the gator about 10 feet from the shoreline. When he approached the gator, it ran back into the water. So Richie waited. 20 minutes I waited and he just popped up right in front of me. Dink, bam, grabbed him and he was he was fighting, rolling, snapping, hissing. It was pretty scary. Came very close a couple times. Like close to biting you? Oh yeah. After about a minute, the gator calmed down and Richie carried him out of the pond, putting him in his car in good company. That's a king cobra right there. He's pretty calm right now, but tomorrow the reptile man will take him to Multnomah County Animal Service and they get to decide what to do with him. Now, in Multnomah County, you're not allowed to keep an alligator as a pet. Richie says he would love to be able to keep this gator to add to part of his presentation. He also tells me the gator could have lived out here in this pond until December or January, depending on the weather. Reporting for you live in Gresham, Casey Montoya, Quinn Local 6. Ah, uh, happy ending to that story.